Hello and welcome back to my let's play of Final Fantasy XIV. Today we're just going to be continuing the main story quest with uh, the Sylphs here. So without further ado, let's get this show on the road. This one asks Dancing One for forgiveness. These ones have many troubles since Walken once first came to our abode. This one must be careful, always careful. But Dancing One is not like other Walken ones. This one can trust Dancing One. This one would ask Dancing One for help. Strange walking ones with bodies of steel come to the home of these ones. This one thinks steel one comes from the Empire. Where Empire goes, many living ones become dead ones. Trees fall and bushes burn. These ones home is in danger. Danger! This one begs of Dancing One to help this one no more. Dancing one is friends with these ones and walking ones, yes. Dancing one must speak to these ones here and walking ones in Hood House and find out more. This one has bad feeling. This one fears steel ones are after something. But this one should speak no more. Go, Dancing One. This one depends on the kindness of Dancing One. Right, uh, so we've got to investigate the Suspicious Presence, which is uh, quite close by, it would seem. Strange steel walking ones? Yes, this one has seen. Steel walking ones carry big boxes. Maybe walking ones hunt for shiny treasure. This one likes treasure. Right, that's one of them. Uh, we'll do this one next, as this one's by far the closest. Shush, shush, this one says. Steel walking ones are scary, like touched ones. This one hates scary, and scary ones have scary friends. Okie dokie, um... Where else do we have to go? Hawthorne Hut is where the other two are, it seems. Uh, let's zoom in, get our uh, Etherite Crystal. Men clad in strange armour. Why, now that you mention it, I did see some suspicious types of light. They were gathering deep in the forest. I simply assumed they were adventurers. And where is the other person? Just over this direction. Possibly inside the hut. I think he is. Is he? Uh, yes. Fear some types clad head to toe in steel, you say? Imperial soldiers, no doubt. I couldn't tell you what they're plotting, but I'm sure it's nothing good. Right, that's you spoken with. Uh, back to Camuxio. Right, let's uh, mount up and head back over there. And we'll see you guys when we get there. Right, and here we are, back in a little solace. So uh, let's just tell uh, Kamuxio what we've discovered. This one is happy to see Dancing One return. What did Dancing One learn? This one sees. Steel walking ones come from Empire, carry boxes and go walking deep, deep through trees. As this one thought, steel walking ones are up to nasty no good things. This one knows forest well. Steel walking ones try to hide, but this one will find them. This one would borrow Dancing One's map. This one makes this one makes mark right here. This is where Steel Ones hide. This one knows. Dancing One will go looking for Steel Ones, yes. Uh, okay, I suppose so. Uh, map. Ah, all the way back to Hawthorne Hut. A lot of back and forth in this quest as well. It seems just like uh, the one earlier in uh, Fanalan. <laughs> right, mount up. And just this direction, I think. Yep. Try and avoid those nuts, I think. If we can get around here, which we can, but I think. Uh, will he uh, attack us? Uh, no, he won't. He's oh, but these guys will. <laughs> Right, thankfully these guys are going down pretty quick. Right, suspicious box. Uh, okay, uh, are you guys going to leave me alone? I think they are. Oh wait, hang on, we need to be heading back this way. And uh, once again, we'll meet you once we get back to uh, Little Solace. Right, and here we are, back at Little Solace. Uh, let's speak with Comuxio. Dancing One is back. This one breathed sigh of relief. This one was worried. Hmm, Dancing One found something. I did indeed. Uh, a list of supplies and material to be delivered to a certain Imperial stronghold. 
Dancing one found paper inside of box. This is a message from Empire. This one can read walking one symbols. Message paper has names of food and rocks. Food and rocks were inside boxes. This one knows. But this one does not understand. Food and rocks mentioned all come from home of these ones. How do steel walking ones know to find them? Is there a sneaky one hiding behind this one's wings? Snooping one selling secrets to steal walking ones? This one fears for this one's home, but Dancing One has helped this one much today. Dancing One must promise to always be friend to these ones. That's fine by me, uh, High Potion or Ether. We'll go with Ether, I think. Helpful One arrives at a good time. This one needs Helpful One's help. One of these ones named Klaxio ventured outside Little Solace alone. Alone is unsafe. Helpful one must find Klaxio. Klaxio struck west after leaving the settlement. Hurry before Klaxio ends up in the belly of a beastly one. Okie dokie, I'll rescue him for you. Just need to figure out where it actually is first. Uh, where are you? Oh. Ah, there it is, I'll see you now, just to the west of here. Let's get mounted up and get moving. Oh, I'm being attacked. Damn it. Uh, what? Won't one wants this one to return to Little Solis? Don't make this one laugh. This one is weary of living with those who are not these ones. This one wants to be alone. These ones rely on walking ones for everything. No better than those ones that summoned a primal one. Small wonder this one chose to leave. This one thought this a likely place to build a home, but then meddling one arrives. Forces this one to go deeper into the forest. Meddling one is forbidden from following this one. Away with meddling one. Uh, okay. Uh, let me get rid of this guy. Thankfully he wasn't too much of a threat, otherwise uh, I was worried he was going to kill me while I was uh, reading that guy's uh, dialogue. <laughs> right, so I'm guessing he is... Oh no, he hasn't... Uh, well, he has went further off, but uh, I don't have to chase after him. I just need to uh, tell Kamuxio uh, what I found out about his... Uh, about her brother. Right. What? Plaxio refused to return to these ones and went deeper into the forest. But but this one saw touched ones lurking in the forest. Helpful one must hurry. Hurry and find Claxio. Helpful one should search for spools of thread on the forest floor. Those things will lead helpful one to Claxio. But hurry. Hurry before touched ones take Claxio away. Okie doke. Uh, where's he gone this time? Uh, Alright, just over there. Um, we'll meet you guys once uh, once I've arrived there. Right, and here we are, just approaching the uh, location for Klaxio. Should be just through this uh, log somewhere. Right, there he is. Looks like this is going to be an instanced uh, encounter. Meddling One is back. This one told Meddling One to be gone. Tell Kamuxio that this one will never go back. Never! T touched ones? Touched ones should go away too. This one is good one. Everyone should just leave this one alone. Be on guard, Elric. These souls have been tempered. Brought under the frell of the primal Ramu. Akin to the Amal Jar tempered by Ifrit, these, these souls exist only to serve their deity. He'll not answer to words, only steal. I take no pleasure in this, but it must be done. Okay. Let's uh, deal with them. A few arrows going out, I think. Claxio, these ones are your friends. Come with these ones. Save Primal One together. No, this one is good one. We'll never go with bad ones. Thankfully, these guys uh, seem to be going down fairly quick. Hang on, we should... Meddling one... Uh, Meddling one not smart to anger this one. This one has many friends in the forest. A mobile, and things were going so well. A mobile, oh bloody hell, there it is. N no, not stinky one. Stinky one is scary. Stinky one stink make this one's... Ick. Elric, Papalimo and I can handle this beast. You take care of the sylphs. 
Okie dokie. There's something not right about this mobile. Ignore it and focus your attacks on the Sylphs. Oh, right, hang on. I didn't notice he, she uh, still had one more left. Alright, are we good to start on this one now? I presume so. Oh, she doesn't. Oh, wait, she is taking damage. Hurry up, up anymore. I can't bear the stench any longer. I'm doing the best I can if we dispatch the sylphs, surely. Right, let's help them out with the mobile, although it seems to be running away now. Th this one is safe? This one was so scared. Klaxio, this one has been worried, so very worried. Is Klaxio unharmed? Still in possession of wits? Kamuxio, and meddling one as well. Why are these two here? These two came to rescue Klaxio. That Klaxio is safe fills this one with joy. Kamuxio, forgive this one. This one did not mean to run away from Little Solis. This one was just... afraid. These ones who live at Little Solis were changing, becoming friendly with other ones. This one feared that these ones were forgetting who these ones are, like touched ones did. But this one was wrong. This one can see that now. Meddling, a uh, helpful one. This one is grateful. This one will return to Little Solly's to be with Kamuxio and friendly ones. Well, that should say to that. Let's say we return to Little Solly's as well. I for one could do with a nice hot bath. Okay, hopefully it's going to teleport us straight there. Or is it not? It's not, god damn it. Right, well, we're going to mount up and we'll meet you guys once we get back to uh, Little Solace. Right, and here we are back in Little Solace. Let's uh, speak with Kamuxio and see what's next. This one for Klaxio was lost forever. Helpful one saved Klaxio. Now these ones can be family again. This one has known many walking ones, even many kind walking ones, but helpful one is kindest and strongest of all. Helpful one is a hero to these ones. Helpful one will bring these ones and walking ones closer together. This one knows. This one would take helpful one to say elder one. But elder one is... Elder one is... Mm -hmm. Elder one is what? <laughs> Dead? <laughs> Ill? This one must ask kind one's forgiveness. This one, ca this one made promise to take kind one to say elder one, yes? But this one cannot. This one cannot because... Elder One is not here. Elder One is not anywhere. Elder One went into forest yesterday, but has not come back. This one is worried. Elder One often goes into forest, but never, never for this long. Kind One will help find Elder One, yes? Near where Elder One disappeared is the home of a walking one named Buscaron. Buscaron may know what happened to Elder One. This one would talk to Buscaron, but Walking One does not always trust these ones. Would Kind One talk to Buscaron for this one? And Kind One comes from Gridania, yes? In Gridania live many kind ones, yes? This one begs of kind one. Please go to Gridania and ask fellow kind ones for help. And please hurry, these ones are not safe until Elder One returns. Okay, so back at the Adder's Nest in uh, Gridania. Let's just teleport over there. Oops, can't uh, close my map. Bad aim of my cursor. <laughs> Right, so I think it should be over here, yeah, going to the compass, it's the right direction. Get a little bit of a uh, sprint going on. Well, if it isn't our intrepid ambassador, how fare your diplomatic efforts with the sylph tribes? The elder's gone missing, you say? Why, if he would end up in the hands of the tempered ones, we'd have a crisis on our hands. You can assure the sylphs that my sharpest-eyed serpents will be on the lookout night and day. No stone must be left unturned. I would ask you to call upon Gia Molkor at Bent Branch Meadows and deliver the message that the Wood Whalers are needed in the search effort. Okie doke, uh, Bent Branch Meadows, that was Central Shroud, I believe? Uh, yeah, it seems to be. Right, uh, just behind us, there he is, or she, whichever the case may be. A message from Commander Hu... 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 A message from Commander Hulo Loy, you say? The Sylph Elder has vanished. Worry not, friend. 
The wood whalers have eyes under every leaf behind every branch. If the Elder is anywhere in these forests, we shall find him. Um, okay, so... Buskaron. Uh, oh, our first visit to the South Shroud. Now this is where it comes in handy that we uh, unlocked a load of uh, Ethernets uh, before we actually got sent to these zones. <laughs> Alright, uh, which direction are we headed due west it seems, uh, there's the exit, we'll mount up and we'll meet you guys once we get there as it looks like this is going to be quite a journey. Right, and here we are coming up on uh, Buscaron's Druvers, he should be just on the right I believe, uh, in here, uh, there he is. Well met, adventurer. We have the finest grog and grub this side of... Eh? Not yet to fill your belly, then? Ah, a hunger for news, is it? Aye, there's been talk of a self lurking hereabouts, but I couldn't rightly say if it be the elder you seek. Those woodland scamps all look alike. Short of painting one red and another one blue, most folk would struggle to tell two of them apart. If you've the time, mayhap you could stay a while and see what the gods have in store. You never know, you might even stumble across the Sylph Elder yourself. Okie doke. No word on the Sylph Elder yet, but I'm sure it's only a matter of time. In the meantime, how about doing a favour for old Buskaron in return? Right then, let's put you to work. There's a customer outside who's spoiling for a fight and I need you to cool him off for me. No need to go cracking any skulls though, just take this tub of cold water and douse the drunkard. Tends to do the trick. My parents can swill grog all night and crows loud enough to wake the dead if they wish, but as soon as it turns violent, I've got to put my boot down. Okie doke, uh, where is the sky? What are you staring at? You want to keep them eyes in your face? Uh, let's get him uh, soaked. <laughs> Ugh, Nuffica's teats, that's cold. What do you mean, no fighting? This dusk white scum was... Yeah, yeah, I know the rules. That bastard gets to keep his skin. For now. Mm. Thanks for stepping in there, friend. Not that I couldn't handle myself against a bleating milksop like that bloke. And I don't want to cause no trouble for Buscaron. You know, having a mop of blood and bits of teeth and the like. That's fine by me, buddy. Uh, right, I've dealt with that issue for you. Nicely done, Alaric. I'll not have my parents picking fights with each other over a bit of petty prejudice. In case you didn't see, the bloke who caught the brunt of that outburst is a dusk-white Elizen. There are people who shun cities to live in the wilds, making them no better than brigands in the eyes of many. To be fair, the dusk-whites can be an unruly lot, but they ain't so bad once you get to know them, and it don't seem right to bar a whole race of people from the Druffers for the misdeeds of a few. There should be at least one place where anyone willing to pay the coin and drink in peace is welcome, don't you think? Right, what on earth is that chicken egg? Um, okay. <laughs> I appreciate all the good you've done for our parents. If you aren't disinclined, I have a favour of my own to ask you. There's a Quaquain friend of mine, you see. Name of Tetarune, a good lad. It was right after the calamity that I came across him falling in the shroud. He nearly died in all the havoc, so I took him in and nursed him back to health best I could. He worked here at my Drufus for a spell after that. Got to talk about striking out on his own he did, and not long after cast his lot with a merchant bound for Lanovskia. Well, it just so happens I got to clean up around here and came across something of his. The Scarlet Earring. I know he was fond of the thing, but he must have just forgotten it when he left. So I'd like to see that gets to him. Can't say for sure where he ended up, but might be a friend of mine can. A Rogadian fellow named Bainsing. You can find him on Hawker's Alley in Limsa Liminsa. He knows everything of the comings and goings of merchants there. Okie dokie, so uh, looks like it's going to be Limsa Liminsa next. Uh, map. Uh, yes. Lower decks. Let's just teleport over there. They really are uh, sending us all over the place for uh, this series of quests, aren't they? 
Right, whereabouts were you? We're already on the lower decks, and I think it. Nah, there he is there. Uh, so we go to Hawker's Alley teleport. You found your way to Hawker's Alley, friend. Hmm, a quake one that worked at the Druffers. Aye, you speak of Tetarune. Related to that Kayo Kayo rune bloke just over there by some blood or another. Two of them put in together and were making good coin, but old Tetarune up and left Lemsa Lemsa not long ago. Couldn't say as to why or where. You're better off asking Kyo Kyurun himself. He can be tight of lip though, I warn you. Best to take this chicken egg with you. Little bastard loves the bloody things. <laughs> good to hear about old Busk though. Sounds as though he ain't changed a bit. Just like him to send a venture along. Too shy to come his own self. Gods, I miss drinking with that fool. Right, so just behind us here is that Q. Kusma be welcome, not Kusma. Not come with custom. Q, Q, and busy with business. Too busy for blaffer. Uh, there's an egg for you. Chicken egg. Q, Q, and love chicken egg. Love chicken egg more than love customer. Looking for Tetarune? Tetarune leave Limsa. Tetarune go look for Sparklies. Now work in a trading post. Good trading post. Forget where trading post is. Weinberg no Tetarune. Weinberg no trading post. Weinberg at Ferry Docks. You go to Ferry Docks. Kyo Kyo forget things. Weinberg remember things. You talk to Weinberg, not Kyo Kyo Okay, Okie okay. so the Ferry Docks I believe are this way. Yep, there they are. Uh, but why does uh, we... Why do we not have a... Um, all oh, right, it's the lower ferry docks. So where uh, the closest one, Fisherman's Guild. Right, let's turn around. Head down here. And uh, we're coming up on the time for the episode. So we'll see you guys next time.